All right, got the rods baited up. Got everything we need We're fishing with night crawlers. That's all I could get. Sun has set. And we're ready to fish. I'll hit you up when we catch one. But it wasn't a catfish, it was a bass. About a pounder. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm camping. I didn't bring much food with me. So let's cook this guy up. Shall we? too hot for a campfire so this is just gonna be a small cooking fire Should have brought the damn rake over here, raked a little of this pine straw away, but I think I got it now. You need to help me out a little bit, be nice. Totally bad idea. Uh. Lost the sandal. There it is. Totally bad idea. Well, I got that to calm down, and uh, all I did was emptied my cooler real quick and uh, threw a couple coolerfuls of water on the pine straw around me and raked it back real good, and then <laughs> blew my coals on my fire back into flame. I had some coals going already, so at least I'm going to get to eat supper here. 
but uh just goes to show you man i, I spend 50 to 75 nights a year in the woods and i've built thousands of campfires in my life and you know out here drinking beer caught fish got excited about making a video cooking my fish over open fire and and about caught the whole damn place on fire this this little uh area i'm in right here is uh you know it's freaking acres and acres and acres and acres of pine trees with six inches deep dry as a bone pine straw that could have really uh that could have really not gone my way so you know get you a limb are you in pine straw get you a limb and scrape that pine straw back 10 feet in every direction before you ever even think about building a fire guys and uh no harm no foul but i'm gonna show it anyway because i feel like it's important uh not that i'm an expert but like i say i, I, I spend a third of the year around the campfire and uh never have a mishap ever but uh i was very close to having one right then all right bro go kill out